All right, Brian Von Vier here, back at it again. Welcome to character concepts that piss you off. And be sure to leave some in the comments below. We love to know. Here's one, a lone wolf renegade who makes life harder for the party until they find a way to his nice side, or when the player knows nothing about the setting, doesn't get basic concepts, and doesn't read the lore books, repeatedly tries to make a character who knows everything about this setting. Yeah, let's not have any sort of character development, and let's just go with the edgy I know everything about nothing type, shall we? The character that doesn't fit. It doesn't matter what they specifically are, even if a character is fine in a vacuum if everyone, including you, agree to a certain kind of game. If you bring that character that doesn't mesh with that, then it's on you. Generic, chaotic good adventurer who's too lazy or unimaginative to roleplay a different personality and plays RPGs more for the combat than roleplaying. The obviously sexualized character the player thinks is somehow the best character ever made. Oh, oh my god, quite cute female character played by a dude who is never portrayed as being in the wrong because she's so oh my god, so kawaii, oh my god. Whenever something bad happens to her, by the way, she's a victim. And whenever she does something immoral, it's always downplayed because she's a big baby, oh my god. Chaotic good character that acts like a terrorist and <laughs> is in effect chaotic evil serving their whims and desires because they think it's good for everyone else. Lawful character on the other hand who has no regard for law or tradition and only abides by a personal code which is flexible for whatever is convenient. Oh we got the PTSD character that freaks out and ruins all plans by being irrational in every situation that's always good. And also, last but not least, dude seduction, <laughs> bards. Yeah, we all like bards that like to try to uh, touch everything that moves and sometimes inanimate objects as well. The character that speaks and acts like a stereotypical New York mobster when it's completely inappropriate, no matter what setting you're in. Tee hee, funny joke character <laughs> whose primary trait is being a narcissistic nuisance. Character who is literally just a self insert character who is literally just the player reading things off the character sheet and blindly copying what the other players do. No, wait, hold on, that's just my current campaign. Dude, you just called out everybody in your campaign. What's the matter with you? My character is inspired by a critical role character. Mismatched players and characters. The player who is thick as shit, trying to play the most intelligent character in the party, you know, the wizard or etc. The nervous introvert trying to play the face of the party. Aw, uh, no, come on, you can't be mean to them. They're trying, at least. The player who has no morals at all trying to play a lawful good paladin. Armchair general. Civilian player trying to school an experienced veteran player about real-world tactics, weapons, stealth, and etc. All to use in the game. You ain't gonna get away with that one, laddie. Now, forgive me if I mispronounce this one, but... A skied character that isn't just a player with zero special abilities. You have to explain that one to me, everybody in the comments down below. Please help educate me. Exact copy of a character who died. You can't just let go, can ya? I'm gonna make insert character here. Can we talk about like those people that want to make Vegeta? Yes, all I want to play is Vegeta because I want to be the prince of all Super Saiyans. I want to make a scientist. First turn. I want to make gunpowder, and I want to make a motorcycle, and I want to have an exosuit, and I should be able to roll science to do everything better because science means I understand how it works. That's right. I know more than you. Hee <laughs> hee, my character is the same guy throughout every TTRPG I play. He just gets teleported through different dimensions. Could be a good idea if done right. Leia uses a British accent to roleplay her character. Okay, sure. Next character has a British accent and acts identically to the previous one. I'm starting to believe this is the only way she can act in character. If her third character starts speaking with a British accent in the upcoming game, it's going to be kind of funny. 
Doc, fantasy-inspired edgelord, no matter the campaign. Well, you don't like going to Hot Topic anymore? Has to be the leader no matter what. Selects the leader class if such a thing is available. Dumps everything into generation of a vampire, etc. Stat sheet and playa. Character, absent. Yo, bro, <laughs> I found this obscure third-party class that I want to play. That's literally the only fucking issue in every TTRPG ever. It's fucking astonishing how fully functional adults can get retarded the moment you stop tard wrangling them. Sorry for anybody triggered by that phrase, but I mean, this can be true. Every fucking time I lower my guard a bit and think they can be reasonable and handle themselves and say, okay guys, the game is about X and Y. The game tone is Z, and the most common challenges will be A, B, C. You're pretty much free to design your character as you like, but within reason, of course. There's always one, though, or maybe more dinguses, making the most inane shit conceivable. Oh my god, and before, don't play with dinguses? Yeah, they're usually not. Then they seem to suddenly become so unpredictable in these situations. Yeah, it's when you get the good characters and players, and then suddenly they just become kind of an asshole out of nowhere. Main character. Oh, I hate it when some dude decides to make everything about them. The guy who tries to steal from the rest of the party at the first meeting. Happens to me every time I run champions. The world's most indecisive man wants to play a speedster so he can wonder what to do on his turns before anyone else, and more often than anyone else. Why does combat take so long? The player with a very specific character concept whose interest evaporated the instant it was time to play it. Low System Mastery wants to play a wizard or green lantern type that uses a variable power pool. Will not read. High System Mastery plays a no frills brick. The power armor user with powers that cost less than everyone else's but still doesn't feel powerful enough. The elemental blaster that is under the impression I built the Pokemon type chart into every fight. Pro tip, I did not. The martial artist who didn't read combat, never dodges, never blocks, always goes down, and is clueless as to why. The player who only brought killing powers plays Crank Fast. <laughs> I'm gonna die. The player who took his complications in charging but has zero intention of having them come up in play. The player with a sidekick and summons who has very little interest in taking all the actions he has generated and has no interest in tracking all that body and stun in combat. Don't foist that shit on me, you chose to do it. All right, fellas, we're playing a low fantasy dungeon crawling campaign. Go make characters. Hmm. I shall play as a lizard man who builds clockwork robots and bombs and has demon blood inside of him. Ha <laughs> Yes. Sounds like somebody I know. Human character who grew up on a farm in bump nowhere, but somehow mastered all forms of martial combat known to exist while still being le epic underdog. -y. I hate this shit. If you're gonna pick the most boring race, then you better make up for it with an actual original idea instead of the laziest backstory possible. Ah, uh, we all knew this one was coming. Horny Bard. That's it, you know, the Horny Bard. Guaranteed the worst person, not character, at the table. People don't read classics and don't understand that less is more. We did a short run airship pirate game. I play a very Slavic artificer engineer, obviously a comedic character. I limit myself to one gag per session, work on them between sessions. First gag, make air conditioning for the airship. Push red button, warm air. Push blue button, cold air. Don't push both buttons at the same time, small chance explosion. <laughs> There's a very small chance of explosion. Second gag, sitting on the side of the ship with a pole in line. End of the line is a cage with bait in it. Vladov, what are you doing? You here of fishing, yes? I am birding. <laughs> oh, I actually kind of think that's cute. Everyone loved him. People want me to bring him back. 
Pick your moments. Know when to take a back seat and let other people have the spotlight. Work with your DM. It's really that easy. Honestly, there's no particular concept in general that disgusts me. There's just a shitload of them that often are done pretty poorly, overdone, or are basically irrelevant. Examples off the top of my head are, and I don't know any other way to describe them, Harley Quinn characters. Yeah, I can kind of summarize that one. My character is socially ostracized because of their heritage, which basically is the same as a human, but with horns, different color skin, weird marks. Oh, tragic backstory. Oh, but a grab-ass goofball. And no, this will never be portrayed as a coping mechanism. Quirky hipster concept. My bard plays a tuba. My gnome is a paladin with a gardening spade. My cleric is an atheist. How does that last one even work? I thought you have to get your powers from a god. Video game character protagonist reskinned. Totally not the Doom Slayer. Totally not the Witcher. Totally not Lara Croft. Openly evil, self-centered asshole that somehow is in a group full of people who are the opposite of that. Can be done right if you do it right character whose entire premise is basically something designed to be funny, but really just annoys the shit out of everyone and actively is a detriment to the party. My modern day, real world politics shoehorned into a fantasy setting where it's entirely irrelevant, out of place, and probably unrealistic. God damn if I don't know people like that too. Here's a good one. Character whose background or origin is basically forcing their own version of the world into the setting rather than playing with the setting. Player's sex fantasy. And last but not least, <laughs> furries. Yep, furries. Just, just, no. Absolutely not. No thank you. Know it all that min maxes every goddamn session and homebrews races every single goddamn session so they can play wildly chaotic and hand wave logic and reason aside for it makes sense for my character. Disruptive contrarian idiots. The kind of player who will have their character violently antagonize the city watch, insult friendly patrons from wealth or nobility, and annoy other party characters deliberately. The wacky zany character, woohoo! I don't want to be too specific because I know several of my players browse around here, but there's one guy that always tries to make an absurd character that just doesn't fit with the tone of the story and setting. For example, and a fairly grounded military campaign where everyone else is a man between his late teens and early 40s, with a mundane background and skills with a period-appropriate firearm, he'll play a 7-foot-tall, 300-pound woman dual-wielding battle axes and refusing to obey direct orders. In a setting with aliens, he'll always play the weirdest species, or an AI. Always plays a woman. It just gets old. Player where playing another character is an alien concept makes Bob the fighter all the time. When Bob dies, makes Bob the fighter too, electric boogaloo. <laughs> okay guys, in this game world, magical abilities are the norm. Almost everyone uses magic to a certain extent. I want to play as a character who lacks any sort of magic. Proceeds to bitch if I don't give in to a concept that doesn't fit the game every time. Mm-hmm. Look, sometimes I don't want to use magic. I actually don't like using magic in games, so I kind of can feel for that, but at the same time, don't actively try to mess with your DM. That's not cool. Hey everybody, Brian Von VA back at it again, bringing you lots of love and hoping that you'll leave a like, subscribe, ring that bell, and share all this with your pals out there in the world. That said, we also want to talk about our pal, Luke Goblin. If you don't know Luke Goblin, he's a guy like none other. Just like us, he likes to do a lot of D&D &D stuff, but he goes more off on the 4chan tablet. So, go say hi to Looty Gobs for us, will ya? That said, we all love you, please be safe, be happy, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.